open your Bible. I want you to open your Bible. We're going to look at several openings. Uh, I want you to, to um, I want you to first uh, turn with me to Mark, the first chapter. Mark, the book of Mark, one of the Gospels. Uh, I want you to look at Mark, the first chapter. And I want you to, to look at, uh, we're going to start at the, let's see, excuse me, let's see, Mark, yeah, Mark 1. I think I might be wrong. No, it's Matthew. I think it's Matthew. I'm sorry. Sorry, Matthew chapter 1. No, no, wait a minute. I'm, okay. <laughs> Let me look at Mark. Let me look at Mark again. That happens. Okay. Mark, the first chapter, and uh, we're going to look at the 23rd verse. Mark 1 and 23. We're going we're gonna to be studying tonight. We're going to be studying some of the, the deliverance uh, uh, methodologies that Jesus used. We're going to be we're going to be looking at how Jesus cast out devils. Uh, I know that there's those that think they've coming up with a better uh, way of doing it than Jesus. Um, I'll leave that up to them. But I, I, I believe that if we look at Jesus as our model, that we can learn a lot about deliverance. I know right now we've not been doing uh, uh, corporate deliverance at the church right now, and uh, but we look forward to getting back to that. And uh, these teachings will help us as we as we um, uh, move into and shift into back into uh, uh, corporate deliverance. Mark 1 and 23. And let's look at verse, verse number 23. It says, and there, was, and there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him saying, hold thy peace and come out of him. Now, I want you to, to, to see Jesus comes into the synagogue. And when he comes into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, teaching uh, that uh, this, this man, in the synagogue had an unclean spirit and the unclean spirit cried out. And, uh, and the first thing the spirit said is let us alone. I will tell you this, understand this, is that demons do not wanna be disturbed in their hiding places, in the, sometime in the physical body, in the emotional realm of uh, in the emotional area of individuals' lives, demons do not wanna be uncovered. They do not want to be unearthed. They do not want to be cast out. And so the first thing that this spirit said in verse 24 is leave, let us alone. And Jesus did not leave him alone. Jesus rebuked him, told him to hold his peace, and he came out. Now, I want you to look at, at, at go to St. Luke. I'm, I'm going to give you several openings, and then we're going to uh, hit some points here. Chapter 9 of, of, uh, of Luke. And I want you to look at verse number 37, 37 through 42. And it came to pass on the next day when they were come down from the hill, much people met him. And behold, a man of the company cried out saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is mine only child. And lo, a spirit taketh him. And suddenly he suddenly cry out and it tears him that he foameth again and bruise bruising him hardly departed from him. And I besought the disciples to cast him out and they could not. And Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and suffer you? Bring thy son hither. And as he was yet a coming, the devil threw him down and tear him. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and the child was delivered and the child was delivered him and, and delivered him, excuse me, again to the father. Now, I want you to also look at, look at, uh, 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 go back to, go to, go to, uh, to the next chapter of Luke, Luke 10. 
Luke, the 10th chapter. And I want you to, to look at Luke 10 and I want you to look at verse 19. Look at verse 19. Because this, I just want you to understand. Behold, Jesus said, behold, this is after the 70 came back and told Jesus that even demons were subject to them in the name of Jesus. And Jesus said to, to them to, that, that they should not, um, uh, that they should not rejoice over that, but that their name is written in heaven. And then in verse 19, he said, behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt thee. And he said, notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And then the final verse that I want to read uh, in these openings is I want you to go to Acts the sixth chapter. Acts the 16th chapter in the book of Acts. Acts chapter 16. And let's look at verses, verse number 16. I'm going to start at verse number 16. And it came to pass, Acts 16 and 16. And it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which showeth unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said, uh, said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Now, I want you to see Jesus cast out spirits. The, the first incident that we see of Jesus casting out a demon was in Mark first chapter and the 23rd through the 26th verse. That's when Jesus came into the synagogue and there was a man there that had an unclean spirit. The Bible tells us there that the man that had an unclean spirit cried out, that the man, the man cried out and, and uh, when he cried, uh, excuse me, when he cried out, the Bible says that Jesus, he said, Jesus, leave us alone. We know who you are. You are Jesus of Nazareth. And we, understand, we know that you are the Holy One of God. And so he cries out, the spirit cries out. And the spirit recognizes who Jesus is. And then Jesus rebuked him and said to hold his peace. And the spirit came out of him. And I want you to see in the 26th verse, it says, and when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. Now, Jesus said, come out of him, but they were spirit manifestations. I'm, I'm going to talk about demon manifestations because I think it's important for us to understand how demons manifest themselves many times. I remember the first time that I really encountered demons in a, in a service. It was, a, it, 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 it was not something that we planned. We didn't plan the deliverance service. We didn't plan it out. We didn't say this is going to be a deliverance service. Y'all come and get your devils cast out. But the demon manifested as a result of we, I was ministering. I had preached that, that, that uh, service. And then I was ministering to people in, in the prayer line and a woman came up and when I laid hands on her, the spirit spoke out of her and said that you can't cast me out. Now, I want you to see something. Jesus goes into the synagogue. He is not going there to have a deliverance service. He's going there to teach because most that was his method. He went in to teach, but as he's teaching, this spirit cries out. This spirit manifests in his service. And so uh, Jesus, of course, uh, when the spirit cried out, the unclean spirit cried out and said, let us alone. 
we know who you are, Jesus. Jesus rebuked him and said, hold, their, his, their, hold your peace. But the Bible says when the unclean spirit came out, it tore him and cried out with a loud voice and came out of him. So, so, so let me say this. One thing we learned from Jesus is that deliverance service many times are not planned. <laughs> Jesus didn't plan to have a deliverance service in the synagogue. Sometimes demon manifests. And I want you to see manifestation because it's important for us to understand these manifestations because many times they will bring fear. I remember in that service when that demon spoke out and I began to deal to, to rebuke that demon, some of the preachers that were behind me stepped back and sat down. <laughs> and uh, it was a few of us, my dad included, that, that, that dealt with this spirit. The woman fell out and began to, to, to manifest and we begin to cast the devil out of her. It was not planned. So we need to understand that in, a, in, a, in an apostolic prophetic ministry where, where we set the captives free, sometimes it's not a planned service. Sometimes it just manifests in the service. Sometimes it'll just manifest, just like it manifested in Jesus. Demons will manifest. And so they'll, they'll and how do they manifest? It says that they manifest, the demon spoke. And said, it says that, that the unclean spirit cried out. The spirit cried out. One of the manifestations of the spirit is a spirit will cry out. It will, it will make a cry. It will, it will release. Uh, in the Greek, that word uh, cry there is krizo. Krizo. It's K-I-R-A-Z-O. It means, and, and it has several different meanings. It means to croak like a raven. It means to scream. It means to, to, to uh, cry out with a loud voice. And one of the meanings is to shriek. I don't know whether the devil does that to, to try to scare us. I don't know whether the devil does that to try to startle or try to startle us or try to cause us. But Jesus said, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. We need not be afraid of demons and devils. And sometimes I think that the reason demons manifest that way is to scare people. Those preachers, some of those preachers stepped back, got in their chair, they wasn't, you know, they wasn't about to mess with that devil. I remember I went to a church one time and uh, one of the songs that, that the preacher was singing was make that devil leave me alone. Make that devil leave me alone. <laughs> Don't you know the devil ain't gonna never leave you alone. But that was the song he was singing. We have power over the devil, but the devil will manifest. I'm gonna give you these manifestations so you won't be startled when we start back doing deliverance in a corporate manner, that you won't be startled by the manifestations of demons. They will show out. They will cause a crying out. They will, uh, they will, they will uh, uh, croak. They will, they will scream. They will shriek. These are manifestations of demons. So don't get afraid. Don't be afraid when these things happen in a service. In a, in a deliverance service, sometimes we expect these things, but sometimes they'll break out in a regular service because the anointing that's upon our lives challenges evil spirits. And many times they will manifest. I had no idea that that lady was gonna manifest like that, but she did manifest like that. And so we dealt with that spirit and cast that spirit out uh, on that altar. That, sun, that uh, it wasn't a Sunday, it was, we were having a weekday service, some, uh, some harvest revival services. So, and we, and we dealt with that spirit. So, I want, so many times the spirit, another, another uh, uh, thing that, that uh, it says here in verse number 26 of Mark 1, it says, when the unclean spirit had torn him, cried with a loud voice and came out. It didn't just come out quietly. It cried with a loud voice and, and, and tore him. Now that word, if you look at it in the Greek, that word there that talks about being torn, and you can actually look it up in, in, your, in your Webster dictionary. And it gives basically some of the very same definitions. But demons will demon will manifest by tearing, and that word tear there in in the in the uh, in the Greek 
a better definition of the word in the Greek is to convulse, uh, to shake violently, to agitate, to cause, to suffer violence. One of the definitions for that, for that uh, Greek word is spagmatic contractions of the muscles. Sometimes when a demon manifests, that demon will cause the person to convulse. Don't get afraid. Don't get afraid. He will cause, sometimes he'll cause them to be, to shake violently. They'll just begin to shake. That can be a demon manifestation. So, and, and I don't know, I, I kind of think that demons do this to try to scare us. But you need not be afraid because there's more with us than there's against us. It says violently, the contractions of the muscles. Sometimes you'll see when you're ministering deliverance to an individual, to people, that they will just stiffen up. Their muscles will be just like it's contracted and they're just stiffened. That can be a manifestation of a demonic spirit. Now, also it says crowd, cried with a loud voice. We already went through, they scream, they shriek. These are ways that the demons manifest. And many times you hear, ah, and, 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 you know, and people get afraid. But this is, I want you to see that Jesus' service was the same kind of services that we've had in our deliverance service. Folks screeching, folks stiffening up, folks getting stiff as a board. You know, we have to be careful what we call the Holy Ghost. I didn't see people, you know, stiffen up and people be talking about the Holy Ghost. I said, no, that ain't the Holy Ghost. That's the devil. We're going to cast him out. I'm not saying that God can't shake you and so on and so forth, but some of these manifestations, you'll see violence shaking many times. Uh, it's demons. I remember uh, the testimony of Bishop Claxton, who has gone on to be with the Lord. He was a drug addict for 30 something years. And, and uh, when God saved him, he walked into a church, walked into a, a, a church. He had, you know, his father and mother was, was, had raised him in the church. And when he, he walked into the church and he talks about when he came in, he had been on drugs for, for over 30 years. He came in as a drug addict and was, and walked into that church, help, uh, wanting to be just helpless and wanting freedom. He came in and when they prayed for him, he fell out and violently, he said, he, these, he began to, to just agitate violently. He began to foam it. But he said, but he recognized that as, that as he was on the ground violently, that, that these spirits started coming out of him one by one by one by one. And they came out and he literally says, I really could recognize, I could, I could actually discern, I could actually feel these demons coming out of me. And God delivered him that night from drugs. He never was on drugs ever again. He became a pastor, prominent pastor uh, in, the, in, the, in the Detroit area. Uh, Vincent Claxton was his name. I remember him, his testimony was so awesome. So sometimes when, you, when, when people come to give their life to the Lord, sometimes there'll be manifestations of demons coming out of them. You know, I remember when, when my, oldest, my older brother, Sam, who was a bishop for the Church of God in Christ in, in Massachusetts. And I remember when he gave, when he, when he gave his testimony uh, of getting that, that the Spirit of God, uh, that he fell out and, 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 uh, and the Spirit of God, and those, as those demons was coming out of him, he was moving under the pews as the demons came out of him. So these manifestations, we should, in, in the church, we should not be a church that's not familiar with the way that the enemy manifests and so that we can deal with them. Don't be afraid of these manifestations. Don't be afraid of demons. They manifest, they convulse, and, and, uh, and they cry out and they scream. Let's, let's, let's look at... Um, um, another scripture. Go, go to go to Mark the fifth chapter. Mark Mark five. We were in Mark one. Go to the fifth chapter, and and verse one. This is the story of of the demon, the man of Gadara. 
So that they came over into the other side of the sea into the country of Gadarians. And when he came, when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs, a man with, un, with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him. No, not with chains because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains and the chains had been plucked asunder by him and the fetters broken into pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshiped him and cried with a loud voice and said, what have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. So Jesus had said, come out of him. Evidently, the demon didn't come out because verse 9 says, and he, and he asked him, what is your name? Jesus asked the, the demon what was his name. And he answered and said, my name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send him away out of the country. Now, there was there nigh under the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, send us into the swine and he, that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine and the herd ran down violently down the steep place into the sea. They were about 2000 and were choked in the sea. And those that fed the swines uh, told us, you know, they was mad that they, they, had, they had gotten rid of all the ham, the hog mugs, the chitlins and everything. And they were selling swine. Now, somebody said, well, why did he do it in the swine? I don't, I don't particularly know. But this thing I do know, this thing I do know, is that the dietary laws of, of Israel would not allow them to eat pigs. What is an Israelite raising pigs? So I don't know whether Jesus just did it as a gesture to say, look, you ain't got no business raising them pigs. And just got rid of all the pigs, got rid of the devil and the pigs in one shot. But I don't know why. But I know that they were breaking dietary laws with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the pigs. Okay, this is what I want you to see. I want you to see this. He comes out, he's got an unclean spirit. They have bound him in chains. They have bound him in fetters and he breaks them. Do you know demons can literally give an individual uh, uh, a, a uh, strength beyond them, beyond them? And, and it's amazing. I, we have dealt with, with individuals that were that were bound by demons and we minister and and it might be a little a little small person but when those demons begin to manifest they have it takes five folks to to, to hold them down you see and the reason is is because that strength does not come from them it comes from those demons and so we must understand how demons manifest we must understand this and we must not be afraid we must, so that when we see this, we, we attack them by our authority in Jesus. We, we bind them. But many times, if we're dealing with demons, they will manifest by, uh, I shouldn't say, well, I'll say supernatural strength, not God's supernatural strength, but demonic supernatural strength will be one of the, can be one of the manifestations of the demon. And then also it says that, um, that at night and day in the mountains and tombs. In other words, demons many times manifest in this way. And this is, is that they will isolate a person. They will cause them to be isolated from, from normal relationships and, and, and uh, cause them to be, uh, to be a recluse. Uh, and and, and uh, uh, they can't seem to, to, uh, to fit in or, or to, to with, with others. Uh, and, uh, and so they isolate themselves in strange places. You know, um, you know, the Bible calls demons unclean spirits. Anytime that's a manifestation of a demon. You know, I was looking at, at, at one uh, time on television and, and they were talking about a show. I didn't look at the show, but they were giving the commercial and they were talking about hoarders. They were talking about this, and, and they showed this lady with all of this junk just, just all through her house. And they said, what, you're going to learn about hoarders. I'm thinking to myself, I can tell you what that is. 
because ain't no way in the world you could live with your house stacked up with 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 just goo gobs of of, of garbage and all of that. That can be a manifestation of a demon. And we need to understand that. Okay. Then it says that he cuts himself with stone. Many times when demons are manifesting, and I've seen this even in children, where children will begin to cut themselves, begin to cut, the, mutilate their body, cut themselves. And it's, it can be a manifestation of demons. Now, some people feel like that, that uh, you know, uh, well, you know, cut themselves is not a thing. I, I've seen people, and I'm not going to, I'm not arguing tattoos. So don't, please, don't come after me. But what I am saying is, when I see people that their whole body is tattooed, their face is tattooed, they back, they front, and everything is tattooed, something is a little bit strange there. Because that's drawing attention to them. Now, we... We that old old time deliverance people that us that been in deliverance a while, you know, we 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 always felt like that cutting yourself and tattoos was was what could be demonic. And and uh, and I have cast out demons out of people that had tattoos and cast demons out that was related to a big snake on there. They don't really got a big old snake on them. And, and, and you're wondering why you can't get, you, we can't get through and minister deliverance to them. And then all of a sudden the Holy Spirit will give you, look at that snake. They've been branded. Satan has branded them and, uh, and said that they belong to him. Sometimes you have to break curses. You have to break spirits off of them. So cutting is, so when people cut themselves and mutilate themselves, I'm not, I'm not talking about, all tattoos, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not going to get one. You can get one if you want to. That's up to you. It's between you and God. I, I'm not going to cut my body. I'm not going to put anything on my body. Uh, you know, uh, my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, and I'm going to treat it that way. Now, what temple, what, what if we had at our church, we had a big snake on the outside of the building. Then we had a big, uh, a big uh, 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 Dagon on the outside of the building. We had a Buddha on the outside of the building and so on and so forth. And then we say, that's God's house. There's something, there's something a little wrong with that, but, but we think that our bodies is just belong to us, but your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says, if you defile your body, God will judge you. So be careful what you, that, that uh, a mutilation, but sometimes that'll be a case I've had I've had, had in, uh, we ministered deliverance to children over the years. And sometimes one, one of the things that we found is, is, is uh, many times the children, uh, when the parents bring them, the parents would bring them and say, this is what's going on. My child is cutting themselves and bleeding, cutting, slashing themselves. You know, that ain't, no, that, and, 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 uh, and we've had to deal with, with these spirits of self-destruction, and sometimes it can be a suicide demon. I don't want to get into to, uh, uh, to how you discern, and we'll talk about that later, but I'm trying to talk about manifestations. So certain things manifest themselves, and, and, they, and, 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 and I'm not saying, oh, I'm like uh, Ivory Hopkins. It's not always a demon, but many times it is a demon. So we need to know these manifestations. So he cuts himself, the Bible says. So that was a manifestation of that devil, those legions of devils that he had. And it says that he, and he cuts himself with stone. And then it says that Jesus said, come out of the man, your unclean spirit. And then he asked him, what is his name? And the, and the devils besought him and Jesus cast the devil out. So manifestations, convulsing, violent agitation, spagmatic uh, spasms and contractions of the muscles, uh, crying with a loud voice, screaming, croaking, uh, shrieking. Uh, those are manifestation of uh, supernatural strength, demonic strength that they didn't have. Uh, uh, Self-mutilation can be a manifestation of a demon. Sometimes those demons would manifest when we have our deliverance service. And, and, and I know as soon as we open up our deliverance service, uh, we'll have people coming from everywhere. 
because deliverance, people know when they have problems. And, and many times they already know that they're struggling in certain areas. People come. I, I remember we, when we had deliverance service every Friday years ago on Seven Mile Road, we had it was like every preacher in the country, in the, in, in the city, in the state sent their people to us. They, they don't do deliverance down there. I'm coming because I've been hearing voices for the last 20 years, or I've been, or, or, or you know, I, you know, I have these suicidal thoughts, and and uh, the devil is telling. Well, you know, they're coming to receive deliverance, and that's okay because we'll minister deliverance to people. But what we need to understand is is that there are certain ways that demons manifest themselves. They manifest themselves in Jesus' service. Why do you think they're not going to manifest themselves in a similar way in our service? And, and sometimes what will happen is when demons come out, slime or people will, will, will spit up. There'll be slime coming out because demons uh, the, 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 uh, are spirits. And spirits come from the word pneuma. Pneuma is the word for breath. And so they, usually spirits come out through your air passages. And so demons will many times come out through your air passages. So sometimes there will be coughing. Sometimes there will be expelling, uh, expectorating uh, when demons come out. These are, these are manifestations that can happen when we're casting out demons. Don't be afraid of that. I remember hearing one preacher on television, famous preacher saying, you know, he ain't, I'm not having no deliverance done at my... I'm not gonna have people spitting up on my carpet. I'm not have no people, uh, you know, messing up my my uh, nice chairs and you know and so on and so forth. And, and I thought to myself, what you worried about a chair? What you worried about some carpeting? And somebody is bound by a demon. You're more concerned about your chair, your carpet, your little pristine church, than you are about people being set free. But see, he didn't see it that way because what he saw was is that all these manifestations and so on. And the reason I'm talking about this tonight is because I want us to understand that these are common things. When the spirit of God, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. When Jesus cast out devils, they, they convulsed, demons cried out. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, like, like they were having epileptic fits and so on and so forth. So we need to understand that that's just a part of ministering deliverance. Now, demons can come out quietly. I've seen demons just come out and people say, it's gone, it's gone. You ain't seen no manifestation, it's gone. And you get they come back a month later, it's still gone. I felt it when it left. I felt it when it left. It, I felt it when it left me. Well, that's good. Didn't have to, but we must be prepared for demons to act up and to act out and not be afraid to deal with them. Now, now you see what Jesus said in one case. He said, he said to the demon, uh, in, in one translation, it says that he arrested the demon or he, he told the demon. In other words, he, he, he arrested him. In other words, we can, we can quell some of these manifestations uh, sometimes by commanding the demon. Don't tear her. You will not tear him. You will come out. And, and so many times we can quell some of the, but these manifestations are common. They are the same manifestation that Jesus dealt with in his ministry. Now I want you to, to um, I want you to, to, to um, uh, look at Acts the 16th chapter again. Because I want to, I want to uh, deal with this manifestation, so you, so you understand uh, something about demons. In Acts sixteen and sixteen again, let's go back there. That was when Paul they were going to prayer. It says, and it came to pass that they went to prayer. Certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought our masters much gain with soothsaying. Now. I want, I want, I'm going to read it in, in, in the um, Amplified Translation. It says, and as they were on their way to a place of prayer, we were met with a slave girl who was possessed with a spirit of divination, claiming to foretell the future events and discover hidden knowledge. And she brought her, own, her owners much gain by her fortune telling. 
She kept following Paul and the rest of us, shouting loudly, these men are the servants of the Most High God. They announce to you the way of salvation. I want to let you know that demons can manifest themselves in false gifts. They can manifest themselves in false gifts. It, it is, it is, it, they, 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 this says that she was doing fortune telling, the spirit of divination. If you, if you, if you look up that word in the Greek, it, it says that word there for divination is python. And, and, uh, and when you study, you, you, you find out that it was a demon of the oracle. You know, when you're speaking on behalf, it's like the, when we say we speak on as an oracle of God, we're speaking on behalf of God. These demons, would, she would speak on these behalf of the demon and tell people's fortune, tell their future. Saints of God never get caught up in gifts. I don't care even if they're genuine. Don't get caught up in them. Don't follow gifts. Follow fruit. Follow fruit. And, 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 and appreciate gifts, but gifts and callings are without repentance. And if you follow gifts, even genuine gifts, it is very likely you will be deceived by somebody that has a, a gift or divination because these people can operate in these things. In fact, we have had to cast out demons out of people that have went to fortune tellers and they picked up a spirit at a fortune teller. They went to to a tarot card reading. They didn't call the psychic line. They didn't got in, they, they didn't went to somebody because they want them to tell them something. We have to understand that as prophetic people, we don't need to go to no palm reader. We don't need to go to no tarot card reader. We don't need to go to no witch, no, no warlock. We have the spirit of God. We have the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And so we need not go to these things. And these things will affect you. And, and so we need to understand that sometimes certain manifestations that appear to be, uh, to be from God can be from the enemy. And, and, and many times the, 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 way that you, the way that you come to know uh, that to be the case is sometimes by the, by the gift of discerning of spirits. It says here in verse that she followed Paul, the same, talking about the, the verse 17 in the King James, the same followed Paul and us and cried saying, these men are the servants of the most high God which show us the way of salvation. Now, wasn't she telling the truth? Do you know that a demon can tell you the truth about something, but it doesn't mean that the demon is right. It doesn't mean that that, that manifestation is of God. Don't think that everybody that tells you something that is true or tells you the future or, or gives you a prophetic word per se is coming from, from God. Now, mind you, we, we, are, we, we as prophetic people, our, our, uh, uh, we draw from the spirit of God. But there are other spirits that can, that can uh, control, that can manifest. It, it, that witchcraft is prominent now. It is so prominent that that uh, politicians are consorting, consulting witches and astrologers and astrology. That is not of God. Astronomy is a science. Astrology is a is is a religion backed by demons. And so and so there is a manifestation of spirits that say the right thing, but it's the wrong spirit. I'll give you an example. I remember we were at a service, and one of my spiritual fathers, uh, uh, Pastor James Taylor. And, um, and I remember years ago, Pastor Non Walker from, from uh, Jackson would come and, and they would be casting out demons. They would cast out demons. And, and I, I was dating Sister Hogan. And then eventually, of course, we got married. But while I was dating her, I was, I, I was coming over to the church. And uh, I can't remember whether this was where we, whether we were still dating or whether we had married at that time. But I'll never forget it. There was a, a preacher that came to the church and uh, came to the church. I ne we never, I had never seen him before, of course. And uh, 
I don't know if they had ever seen him, but he, but he, but he, he, he sat in the pulpit. And uh, I don't know whether he had, I can't remember whether he had words or whatever, but I'll never forget it. One of the, the mothers in the church, one of the mothers in the church, I don't know, I think he did have words. Yeah, I think he did have words. And all of a sudden, the Spirit of God came on this mother. And she walked up and began to speak to that spirit that was that was that this that was in this man. I won't give you the exact words, but she spoke a word of judgment. Now, I don't know what the preacher had done. I don't know where he was. Uh, I don't know, but she spoke to that spirit that that and and uh, and what we we realize is that she was dealing with a wrong spirit that this particular preacher was operating in. And we, we didn't know it, we, we just, you know, we just, but the spirit of God knew. I've been in services where people have said amen and the amen was annoying because even though they were saying amen, the amen you could tell it was not of the right spirit. It was not of the right spirit. And so, you, you, you can have people saying the right things, but it's not motivated by the right spirit. Let me give you another, another tidbit that you, can, that you need to realize. This is what the Bible says, how you know the spirit of Christ, the spirit of error. It says, any spirit that denies that Jesus has come in the flesh is not of the spirit of God. And one of the ways I deal with these, when, I, when, it's a, when it's some manifestation that sounds good, but my spirit, but I'm discerning that it's not right, I want to have that individual, I want to have that individual say with their mouths that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, is the, is the righteous, holy Son of God, God manifests in the flesh. Because that, and, and when they're under the influence of that spirit, I can tell you they cannot do it. They cannot do it. The test is, is, is what they say about Jesus the Christ that came in the flesh. Because Paul said that people can preach another Jesus. And I found that, we found that to be the case. I remember, uh, Dr. Hopkins gave an example. I use his example. He was saying he was praying for a young lady. He's praying for, her, for, for this young lady. And the young lady is, is, um, is, a, is, is speaking in tongues and so on. And, and he says he just discerned that it was the wrong spirit. And so, and she's even quoting the name of Jesus, Jesus, you know. And so, but he, what he did, he said to her, he said, he said, say, Jesus Christ came in the flesh, the son of God. And, and, and she, he said, the woman said, I ain't talking about that so-and-so Jesus. Why? Because there is a spirit called another Jesus. I'm trying to help you. Everybody that's saying Jesus ain't talking about the same Jesus. So we need to understand that we're talking about the Jesus that was born of a virgin, lived a sinless life, died on the cross, rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father God. That's the Jesus we're talking about. Jesus of Nazareth, that's the Jesus we're talking about, the mediator of the new covenant for us. So we need to make sure that we know people are talking about the same Jesus we're talking about and not just take a manifestation at face value all the time from people and that people have a certain gift. It can come from the wrong spirit. And the way that you will find out is, is that manifestation connected to Jesus Christ? Because as I said last week, the ultimate goal of deliverance is to make Jesus Lord of every area of your life. If the person is not ready to put Jesus as the Lord over that area of their life, as soon as the devil goes, he'll come right back. Jesus said, when the devil leaves a person, he goes in hot, dry places, he comes back and says, I'm going in the same house. It's shut, swept, garnished, but it ain't filled with nothing. So we must understand 
that demons can manifest themselves through false gifts. And those false gifts can be out of witchcraft. They can be very accurate. They can be very, very accurate. So don't get caught up in accuracy. Well, I know that she was a witch, but she's, what she said was true. Okay. But you just you could just probably just picked up a demon. Because you you don't understand their spirits behind that manifestation that's trying to get access to you. And so always measure every manifestation, measure every uh, 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 outward uh, uh, um, move of God, judge it by how it relates to Jesus. Because Jesus is our ultimate judge. We're gonna all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. It ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be uh, uh, Mama Belushi up there. It ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be uh, 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 Wendy the witch up there. It's gonna be Jesus. And, and we need to understand that Jesus is our savior. So let me say this and then I'm, then I'm going to, uh, uh, I, I expect I'll be through. False, false gifts. Uh, well, let me do one more manifestation. One more manifestation before I, is one more manifestation and I'm not gonna go there, but when you have time, go to, when you go get time in your, in your time, Go to 1 Samuel 16 and 14. That is the story of Saul when the Bible says that after God, the anointing came upon David. In the next verse, it says, and the spirit left Saul and an evil spirit from the Lord came upon him. And it said that spirit came upon him and that spirit, uh, um, that spirit terrified him. And, and when you study that, it talks about it tormented him. And that word talks about great fear and terrified. Demons, there is demons. One of the manifestations of demons is a is an is a extraordinary, overwhelming fear. I'm not talking about fear, because some things we should fear. If a lion is coming, you should fear and run. <laughs> if a, you know, if there's some there's some good fear that gets you out of trouble. But sometimes there is a manifestation of this unordinary fear. Fear, uh we've dealt with this spirit. It's a spirit that I've cast out in times past called the spirit of pan. It's a panic spirit. It causes people to panic. They, they get, they have panic attacks. It, they, they're, they'll just panic and get terrified for no reason. And we've, and, 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 and we have, we have, we have discerned that spirit. It's a spirit of pan. It's a panic spirit. It's a spirit that terrifies. So one of the manifestations is people can just be terrified, scared, scared to death and and you don't and and it's no reason to be afraid but they're afraid i mean they're not just afraid they're scared and that can be a manifestation so these are manifestations of of, of demon spirits but jesus has given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you can i can i just take the time uh to lead you in a time of, 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 of deliverance prayer. And uh, I'm going to, to ask you uh, to pray this prayer with me. It is a prayer of, of deliverance, self-deliverance. I'm reading it out of, um, out of uh, Apostle John Eckhart's book on prayers that route demons. And I can't tell you the page because the book that I have is the original book that he did when he self-published. And I have this book because it's got all my notes in it. And so I, I don't, if I get another book, I gotta go through and try to mark it up. So I keep this, this book. But this is the prayer I want you to pray with me. This is a prayer of deliverance, self-deliverance to, to, to set you free. So I want you to pray this prayer with me um, and uh, to break, to uh, for self deliverance, and uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you. You can un 
you can unmute your mics. Amen. Unmute your mics. And then I can hear some of you praying this. I'm going to pray this deliverance prayer. Repeat after me. Say, I, I break all generational curses. I break, I break all generational, break all generational, generational curses. curses. Of pride. Of pride. Of pride. Rebellion. 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 Lust. 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 Poverty. 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 Witchcraft. 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 Idolatry. 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 Death and destruction. Death, Death and destruction. destruction. Failure. 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 Sickness. 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 Infirmity. Infirmity. Y'all coming, coming at me at different <laughs> I'm hearing you all at different times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, sickness, infirmity, say fear. 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 Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. And rejection in the name of Jesus. And, and rejection, rejection in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I command all generational. I command all generational. And hereditary spirits. And hereditary spirits. And hereditary spirits. Operating, operating in my life. Operating, operating in my life. life. Curses. Person, be found and cast out in the name of Jesus. Be found and cast out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of lust. I command all spirits of lust. lust. Perversion. Perversion. Adultery. Adultery. Fornication. Uncleanness. Uncleanness. Immorality. Immorality. To come out of my Immorality. sexual Immorality. character in the name of Jesus. To come out of my sexual character in the name of Jesus. 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 All spirits of hurt. All, all spirits, and all spirits of hurt. Of hurt. Rejection. 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 Fear. 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 Anger. Fear. Anger. 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 Sadness, unforgiveness, unforgiveness. To come out of my emotions, to come out of my emotions. emotions in the name of Jesus Christ in of the name of Nazareth. I command okay. all spirits of confusion. All the man, all the man, all the man, confusion, forgetfulness, forgetfulness, mind control, mind control, mental illness, mental illness, mental illness, double mindedness, double mindedness, fantasy, 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 pain, 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 pride, pride, and memory recall. And, and memory, memory recall. recall to come out of my mind in the name of Jesus. To come, come out, out of my mind, mind, mind in the name of Jesus. Come out of my mind in the name of Jesus. I break all curses. I, I break, all, break all, all, curses. all curses of schizophrenia. Of schizophrenia. And I command all spirits of double-mindedness. And I command all spirits of double-mindedness. Rejection, now, rejection, rejection, rebellion, rebellion, and the royal bitterness. And the bitterness to come out of me now in the name of Jesus. Come out of me now in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of guilt. I command all spirits of guilt. Shame. Shame. And condemnation. Come out of my conscience. Come out of my conscience. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name, in the name, of, name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I command all spirits of pride. I command all spirits of pride. Stubbornness. 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 Disobedience. Disobedience. Rebellion. 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 Self will. So selfishness, 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 and arrogance, and arrogance. And arrogance. Come out of my will in the name of Jesus. Come out of my will in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits. 
command all spirits of addiction. Of, of addiction. addiction. Come out of my appetite. Come out of my appetite. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of witchcraft. I command all spirits of witchcraft. Sorcery. Sorcery. Divination. Divination. And occult spirits. And yeah, and spirit. Spirit. to come out of me in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all spirits operating in my head. I command all spirits operating in my head. My eyes. My eyes. My mouth. My mouth. My tongue. My tongue. My throat. My my throat, 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 to come out in the name of Jesus. To come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my chest. I, I command all spirits operating in my, in my chest. chest. My lungs. My, my lungs. lungs. To come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name, of, in the name, of, in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my back. I command all spirits operating in my back. In my spine. In in my my spine, spine, to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my stomach. I command all spirits in my stomach. My navel. My navel. My navel. And my abdomen. And then my, and my abdomen. abdomen come out in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out in the name, out in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my heart. I command all spirits operating in my heart. My spleen. My spleen. My kidneys. My kidneys. My liver. My liver. My pancreas. My pancreas. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my sexual organs. I command all spirits operating in my sexual organs to come out in the name of Jesus. To come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my hands. I command all spirits operating in my hands. In my arms. In my arms. And legs and feet. And lay to come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name, come out in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I command all demons operating in my skeletal system. I command all demons operating in my skeletal system. Including my bones. Including my bones. My joints. My joints. My knees. My knees. My elbows. My elbows. I command you to come out in Jesus' name. Come out I command you to come, come out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, I command all spirits operating in my glands. I command all spirits operating in my glands. In my incrinine system. In my system to come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my muscles. I command all spirits operating in my muscles. And my muscular system. And my muscular system. Come out of me now in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. I command all religious spirits. I command all religious spirits. Spirits of doubt and unbelief. Spirits, spirits of error, error, spirits of error, spirits of error, and heresy, and, and heresy, and tradition, and, and, tradition. and tradition that came to me through religion. That came, that came, came to me through religion. religion. I command you to come out of me in Jesus' name. I command you to come out of me in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits. I command all spirits from my past. From my past. That are hindering my present. That are yeah, hindering, hindering my, my present. present. And Come my on. future. And my future. And my future. Come out in the name of Come Jesus. Come out in, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I command all ancestral spirits. I, I command, command all, all ancestral, ancestral spirits. spirits. That entered through my ancestors. That, that entered through my ancestors. ancestors. Come out of me now in the name of Jesus. Come out of, Come out of me now, now in the name of Jesus. I command all hidden spirits. I command all, all hidden spirits. Hiding in any part of my life. Hiding, Hiding in any part, part of my life. life. Come out now. 
Come on, Come on now. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the, in the name of Jesus, I break and I bind every demonic spirit that has attacked, that has hindered, that, that has come against, that has lodged themselves in the people of God. I break, I bind, and I destroy these demons and command them to loose them and come out in Jesus' name. I command you to go. I command you to leave. I command you to leave. You will yes. not torment them anymore. Please, you will please. not hinder them, them, them anymore. You, in the name of Jesus. You can, you can mute your mics now. I'm praying. I'm going to, I'm just praying a release prayer. Father, I bind, break, and destroy every opening, every door that's been opened in their path that has released demons. I close those doors. Devils, you are bound in Jesus' name. He spoiled you. He destroyed you in his cross. And I command you to loose them. Come out of the head. Come out of the, the, the ears. Come out of the eyes. Come out of the, the, the torso. Come out of the back. Come out of the feet. Come out of the legs. Come out of the arm in Jesus' name. Come out of the mind. Come out of the will. Come out of the emotions in Jesus' name. Be delivered right now in the name of Jesus. I command you to go. I command you to go, devil, in Jesus' name. Now, Father, release your anointing of freedom and deliverance. I send holy angels to drive these demons out. And Father, and cause there to be a new release of freedom and deliverance for your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And amen. God bless you. I hope you receive something tonight. Uh, and and, and uh, if you're receiving deliverance, sometimes after we pray, sometimes deliverance will continue. If, if you feel like you, you got to cough up something, just get some paper towel and just release it. God's deliverance anointing is, is, is released upon you. I can sense the anointing of deliverance to drive out these spirits and, and just cooperate uh, with the spirit of God. And, 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 uh, and, and you'll see uh, de much deliverance. Sometimes it's, it's over time. We're, we are, we are uh, limited in our ability to be able to touch you and to minister to you uh, uh, face to face, but, but the, there is no distance in prayer. There is no distance in the spirit of God. The spirit of God is right there with you. And the Bible says that Jesus cast out demons by the finger or the spirit of God. So we thank God. I'm gonna pray a prayer uh, against backlash and retaliate. Father, I bind every demon of backlash, retaliation. Uh, Lord, we close every door. Uh, Father, those demons that, that, that uh, that were not cast out, we say, Lord, let them be bound and inoperable until they are completely removed, cast out by your power. And Lord, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Saint. Uh, we look forward to, uh, uh, to uh, next week teaching. Uh, we'll see you on Sunday. Uh, and, uh, we'll be ministering the word on Sunday. Keep us in your prayer. Keep Pastor Pastor Joyce and I in your prayers. Yes. Sometimes when those demons come out, sometimes they come out through your air pass, sometimes you'll, you'll, you'll cough. Sometimes it can, I've even seen demons come out belching. So if you're having manifestations, just, 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 just by the spirit, let the spirit of God just completely uh, just finish what he's, what he's begun tonight. God bless you. Have a great night. Uh, we love you. And uh, God bless you. In Jesus Amen. name. Amen. Amen.